New at noon, it's National Police Week, and we are delighted to have with us in our studio today New Albany Police Chief Chris Robertson. How are you doing, Chief? I'm doing well, Tanya. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, you actually wear several hats, and what I really want to talk about, because you serve on the Mississippi Police Chiefs Association. Tell us a little bit about that association and how you are uh, trying to implement any kind of changes. Well, it's the Chiefs Association for the state of Mississippi, and uh, basically there's about 15 members, including a president and a, a, sec a vice president, second vice president. And then you get into uh, the level that I'm at, I'm a northern vice president, and you have a central vice president, southern vice president, and then you have board members. And basically what we do is we, we try to keep the association together, we discuss uh, laws and things that we'd like to see uh, either done as far as changes in the law or uh, trying to get some new laws passed. We have, uh, we work with our executive, which is Ken Winter, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Donna Eccles, which is our, our person down in Jackson, to try to try to work these things as they come through because the law is constantly changing. There. And with technology and all the things that are happening, we have to kind of address it as, as it goes. So now as a police chief and also serving on this state board, what are some of the changes and what are some of the things that you guys need help with right now? Well, I can, t I can speak for every, every law enforcement off agency head in the state and probably nationwide. Staffing is a real problem. Uh, you know, we went through a bad patch where law enforcement was more or less demonized for one reason or another. And we're COVID and so we've gotten into the, the, it's harder to find people that want to get into law enforcement. Now, one of the good things that's happening is that law enforcement is becoming, uh, as far as pay is, is, every agency is trying to do more to make it more competitive to attract officers to come into the field or attract better officers. Um, so that's a good thing, but we're struggling, most every chief or sheriff is struggling with staffing right now, along with all the stuff we normally face. Mm -hmm. Mental health issues, drug issues, uh, we've, we've really had a, a tough time uh, uh, working on some mental health issues. Uh, Sam Creekmore has put together some stuff and we're working on that now. Uh, also, the, the way drugs, methamphetamine and fentanyl, uh, seem like we're all flooded with that, and, and it's a higher grade, especially methamphetamine is more of a uh, pharmaceutical grade, as it were. Right. Oh, okay, Chris. And anything else you want to say before we let you go? Just that uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here, and uh, I appreciate everyone thinking about law enforcement, National Police Week, mm -hmm. and, and take time to think about what officers do have to do and have done and given their all. Uh, to make sure our communities and our families are safe. And it's a profession that uh, is desperately needed. Okay.